the lady use the um, shallots. I got those sautés. Hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this is Chef B with the lovely Abba Bailey. Hi. <laughs> And it is Thursday afternoon. It is the eve before the Atlanta African Dance and Drum Festival. And I came over here just to hang out with Abba real quick. And we said, you know what, let's let's just do something real fun. I wanted to make her this soup. It's a Thai coconut soup and it's really, really good. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So we are, and actually I'm going to turn the camera on the stove here. But what we're doing is um, a Thai coconut soup, so you can kind of see what's happening. So I've got the shallots uh, sauteing right now in coconut oil, pure virgin organic coconut oil. Yep. Which is a good fat. Mm -hmm. Don't pay attention to what them other crazy people be telling y'all. <laughs> That's okay. right. That's right. right. And then I'm going to add uh, cauliflower, and there's a little bit of zucchini here. So these will be our vegetables for the soup, Wonderful. and I'm also going to add, I have them draining in the colander, I've got some Japanese sweet potato. Ooh. They're, they're mild, not as sweet as sweet potatoes, but I like them a little bit better than white potatoes, but they don't seem to be as starchy, and they just kind of give a nice sweetness to the soup. So, oh, uh, so let me see, you have a few people visit, hi Angela. <laughs> I, I see you, Carmen. I see you, Angela. I see you, Royal and Ho Hotep, Miss Taliba. But you can add whatever vegetables you want, okay? Absolutely. All right. So we got that going. Now tell tell the folks, because you okay. got me all excited, what the inspiration for this soup was. Because I learned how to make it when I was in Thailand. When did you go to Thailand? Oh, uh, in May. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This is a fantastic vegan cooking class and now I know how to make all different kinds of Thai food. Oh so man. As you can see I got all these veggies sauteing really really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this down and what I wanted to show you all Alright, I'm coming over here. Look at how she has everything prepped up. Okay. She knew I was coming over, so she prepped up everything for me. Right. So I got a little garlic and so when I make my mm -hmm, when I make my Thai when I make my soups, I don't dice the ginger. I like to leave it in uh, thin slices. Mm -hmm. It's really nice when you bite into it when you're eating the soup. You yep. get like that burst of ginger flavor. And then we'll garnish the soup with the fresh basil. And I grew this basil in, in my yard right out front. So I yes. have plenty of fresh basil. Yes. We'll garnish the soup also with the mixed greens. I'll add the mushrooms later. I'll go ahead and add the red bell pepper now though. So they can start to cook too. Okay. The mushrooms don't take as long, so we don't really have to add them right now. I'm turning up the volume. Okay. I'm turning up the volume. So here we go. Okay. And that looks then, so good. Let me. Uh huh. All let right. me come in here and help. Okay. And let me tell you, I love Thai food. That's one of my favorites. Um, okay, this is one of the ingredients for your Thai food. I'm gonna turn this on. These are the lime leaves. Yeah, happy lime leaves. Happy lime leaves. Give leaf. your Thai food the best flavor. So you score them, mm. and I'll just take them. And then after the soup is done, you'll take them out. Oh, but okay, okay. While it's cooking, you just have them scored. Let's do four. Okay, so this, when you score them like this, this releases like all the volatile oils. Yes. And it goes into the broth and it is just like really amazing, really delicious. No, that looks good. Okay. Now, do you like spice? Yes, I do. <laughs> so, I've got two red Thai chili peppers Let's there. show them how it's, those things are, the smaller they are, the hotter they're they are, hot. right? They're hot. And they're super hot. So I'm going to add this. And then you might ask, well, where is the lemongrass? Yes, the lemongrass. Well, <laughs> because we do the aromatherapy, the essential oils. That's right. And those are also edible. We have the lemongrass aromatherapy oil. Yes, oral. so let me tell them a little bit about okay. this. So let me come back over here because...
Everybody knows I love to to prepare food with essential oils, food grade essential oils. So lemongrass. If you are making Thai food or a nice side dish, you can use lemongrass as a wonderful flavor enhancer. On the medicinal side, though, um, lemongrass really supports. Uh, it's an anti-inflammatory. So if you have tension in your in your muscles. You know, um, you can use several other essential oils, but you can follow with lemongrass to support just kind of getting that uh, that inflammation out of there. Um, so really wonderful, and it smells really good. A little bit goes a long way. A little bit goes a long way. All you need is like maybe one or two drops, and I'm telling you, it just makes everything sing. It's wonderful. So I just added the garlic. The ginger yep. and um, I also added the some tofu cubes yep. and I just buy the tofu that's already baked because then you don't have to fool it yeah. pressing it and, yes. and it, I like the texture it has a more firm texture yeah too. I noticed that too yeah, and I, so, it has like a brown color on the outside well it had like a teriyaki marinade on it okay. but this is an organic tofu and it doesn't have like any uh, funky ingredients Okay, so now I'm going to add a little bit of water just so that this can simmer in the water. Mm -hmm. And then once this simmers good, I will add the coconut milk. And I usually get it in the box at yes. the Cab Farmers Market, but and they've been good. out. They've oh, been out. But okay. these, this coconut milk is good, and it's the non BPA lining. Oh, okay, so you have good. to be careful yes. when you use stuff in the can because. The thing with the BPA that you want to watch and make sure is a home hormone disruptor, endocrine disruptor. So that will, uh, you know, cause you problems with with your with your overall health if you're getting that BPA in your body. That's like a no-no. It's a very carcinogenic. So. Understood. And yeah. we have so many things that we have to be on top of now. Yes, indeed. Because some might sneak in. So if you can, you know, I know we sometimes take the attitude, oh, you know, it's too much. Or, mm -hmm. you know, something going to get me. But still, pay attention. Yes. Pay attention. Absolutely. It's important. Okay. Absolutely. So we got this. Um, you know, we old school. So I'm from the Caribbean, right? What we used to do, my mama taught me how to press my own coconut milk. You oh, can make your yeah, own. Well, get your coconut. <laughs> Get your own coconut, grate it or blend it, yeah. and press your own coconut milk. That way you don't have to deal with BP, nothing, right. or anything yeah. like that. And, and it's fresh. With it all the time. There you I go. So we just want to make sure that we keep as much of the, the toxins out of our body. And if we are able to just kind of take care of just making things ourselves, right? Let's just make it ourselves. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. We said kaffir lime leaves because someone was asking about um, the leaves. It's it's lime mm -hmm. leaves, right? Uh -huh. Kaffir lime, lime, lime leaves. There you go. Yes. Okay. All right. So. All right. So we got our coconut milk. We mm -hmm. got everything going. The Japanese sweet potato is going to be the longest to take to cook because okay. the, the cauliflower is already softened. And Wonderful. I just tasted them. It's a little crunchy. Mm -hmm. But it, by the time we add everything, it's it'll gonna be, be okay. Okay. Right. okay, so I'll go ahead and maybe just do one of these belt, these tiny Thai peppers. I'm put my lemongrass right there. Okay, now I know. Just add a little. I'll just add one, and then if we need it to be hotter, we can chop the other one up. Because once you get it too hot, you can't take that away mm -hmm. but you can always add more yes so, okay so i see a few people who've joined hi y'all nipa mm -hmm. i see you tiffany lay i see samantha greetings how are y'all mm -hmm. we are making coconut thai soup with lemongrass essential oil today and yeah abba bailey the wonderful chef did y'all know abba bailey let me go let me come Abba Bailey used to have our own cooking show yeah, back, back in the in, day. Back in the back uh, in the day. In the late uh, when was it? I'm thinking in the in the in the early '80s, before there was even a Food Network or very many <laughs> TV 
TV shows. That's right. My show was Cooking with Abba. So cooking with Abba. And she was doing now. vegetarian food right. back then. All right. We're, we're cooking with Abba now. We're cooking I, I with was, Abba I, now. I, I, I was doing the superwoman thing. At the time, I'm a massage therapist. So at the time, yes. I was in uh, massage school. Mm. I was pregnant with my daughter. And I had a small child. So I was doing it. You, okay? She was doing it all. Look all at that. Right. So we just we just bringing we evoking those spirits back again. I'm loving this. So all right. what I'm gonna do is just take just a little bit of water mm -hmm. here. All right. So this is some of the things that I talk about in my class. When you are using um, essential oils in your food preparation, sometimes the oil itself, the essential oil, is so strong. Right. So we have to dilute it. So that's what I did. I diluted it in a Good. little bit of water. So just and a oh, little bit. Need, hold on. Hold on. Let me show. Oh. You I did got, it? <laughs> yep, I got one, one, one and drop. a half drops. Okay, okay, so just one drop yep. in some water. Mm -hmm. And for me, some of the things I do, I would even add some of the coconut milk to this as well. Well, I'm going to just then, all add it in. And then she's so. going to add into the soup. Right. So we, you could do it in different ways. Right. Yeah. Yep. That's pretty strong. It's strong, right? Yeah, because I did uh, two. So Wonderful. I'm not going to add all of this. Okay. Awesome. I just added just a little bit. Very um, nice. I'll go ahead and put the mushrooms in. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't take them long to cook. Okay. Let's stir this again. Yes, look at that. Um, and then... We're hi, Omiyanka. Hi, Lena. Now I'm going to add our coconut milk. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. And we will let this simmer for a while. There it is. Our coconut milk. Wonderful. Oh, it looks so good. Yes, and there we have our Thai coconut soup and we will actually garnish the soup like I said before we're going to garnish it with the cilantro mm -hmm. the fresh cilantro the green onions got mm -hmm. lime and fresh basil and I'll chop that up to add to it too Ooh. and I'm going to give it one Ooh. more taste test mm, I'm excited y'all mm -hmm. how is it me and Abba gonna be eating it all up. I'm so excited. It's good. I think, I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add the rest. And that hot, I hope it's not too hot for you. You know what? It's I, hot. I'm rolling with you, so I just gotta adjust. But I love using the uh, lemongrass oil because I'll show you. Usually, when I buy lemongrass, if yes. I don't get it around, it gets all old exactly. and everything. Exactly. And it don't good, exactly. And you can't get it everywhere. And I live in a food desert. <laughs> so I know I can't get it out this way. Exactly. But the lemongrass oil just Boom. took my Thai cooking to a whole nother level. That's right. And then the other thing that I have to add to the soup too, I don't want to forget after it's done. Okay, we said mung, some mug bean sprouts. The mung bean sprouts. Mm -hmm. And because... Take a shot of that. There uh, goes the mug bean sprouts. Right. And then, then the other thing that we have, we'll ladle the soup over these spiralized Zucchini. Mm, look at and that. See, this yes. this is it's raw, but when you put the hot soup on it, it doesn't really cook it, but it just kind of like softens it right. a little bit. Yes. So it gives it more of a mouthfeel like uh noodles. Yes. And so we all trying to not eat all that starch, exactly. even brown rice noodles or whatever. Exactly. So that's why I like to put this, no, this in the bowl good. Look at that. and I serve it. Look how pretty uh -huh. that is. I just I just have this little spiralizer. I love it. And that's what I use out so with pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's do one more shot of this. Okay. Woo! Yeah, it's yeah. coming. Yeah. So Carmen Ortiz, I'm not sure your question, how much can I eat? Oh, it, she may be asking um, with the soup, how much of the soup can she eat? I'm, as much as you want. As much as you want. <laughs> Here you go. Right. As <laughs> you want. <laughs> yeah, no? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we ready? Oh, mm -hmm. I can't wait. I'm going to wait. Okay. I'm going to wait. I'm wait. excited. Okay. Yes. So, yeah. So, what I'll do, I'll just put this down, turn this down um, low. And we'll just kind of like let it simmer okay. for a little bit. Wonderful. And then right. we'll. And or then, should I go ahead and uh? Because I mean it's pretty. It's much pretty much done. done. Should I go ahead and? and yeah. So let's see. Let's do a bo a bowl and uh -huh. let's see. Let's show everyone the okay. final product and what that looks like. Okay. Yes. So we'll take our bowl. <laughs> I see you, Carmen. You said you're coming over all the way from California. <laughs> all right. We're waiting for you. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, so I, here we go. I put my zucchini noodles beautiful down in the bottom. Yep. And then I'm going to take my soup 
and ladle it mm -hmm. onto the zucchini noodles. Mm, it smells so good. You can really smell that lemongrass. Mm -hmm. Just that one and a half drop is it's so, so powerful. powerful. It's amazing. It is amazing. Okay. And then next, what we'll do, we'll take our garnishes now. Mm -hmm. um, we'll take some cilantro. Yep. And this is some of my fresh basil from my garden. I love it. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, and I add that. Mm-hmm. And then here's some of our so spinach. greens. Yeah, it's all the, all sorts the of super stuff. greens. I like oh, it yes. because it has the bok choy mm -hmm. and, the, and the chard, which is a little more heavier duty. Okay, Look now that. add that. Look how pretty that is. And oh. then we'll add... And then our mug bean sprouts. Yes. Let's now, see. have you tried the lime essential oil with um, instead mm -hmm. of the, the actual lime? Uh-uh, I haven't. Now, that one's awesome, too. And then there's our mung bean sprouts. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we squeeze a little bit of lime oh, yeah. on Look it. That. that looks so good. And if we need more heat, we can just Ooh, but I, put another right pepper there. there. Right. Gorgeous. Did I add? Oh, and then, I, and then the, uh, the scallions. Mm -hmm. All right. And there is our Thai I coconut soup. I love it. I love it. Look so at that. Isn't getting, that pretty? Getting everything. Look at that. Beautiful. Getting everything prepped is, is time consuming because yeah. Thai food has so many different ingredients. So yep. it can be a little labor intense, but, but it's, it's worth, worth it. Because <laughs> we about to eat and right. it's worth it. Uh. Yes. All right. Yes. So, All right, y'all. Mm -hmm. Well, that was just a little short something, something, little tidbit, how you can use some of these essential oils in your food preparation. I actually brought over a dish for Abba as well. Uh, I'll show you that. I made um, tabbouleh with living, um, living hummus, and it's made with living chickpeas and uh, red peppers and all sorts of good stuff. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna we're gonna feast. Actually, let me put these two together. Ah, but give me that bowl. Right. Give right. me that bowl. So we have this beautiful okay. uh, tabbouleh salad, and this is a raw dish as well. And the and the soup is and is it, it is almost it's almost it's, it's always like seventy percent raw. I mean, it's, it's not like you know, yeah. It, I, I yes. feel like. I mean, I eat raw more in the summertime. But, yes, because it, it know, just you want to feel yeah, light. You want to feel light. light. The Thai food anyway so. mm -hmm. all right y'all so right. we're about to go eat thank you so much for tuning in carmen when's the next class probably in the next couple of days oh and for those of you who are in atlanta this weekend the oh, atlanta yeah. african dance and drum <laughs> festival see my shirt the atlanta mm -hmm. african dance and drum festival aaddf.org i'm gonna be there everyone's gonna be there it's gonna be off the chain so come and have a good time boom all right. Well, it's fun. I enjoy being with you all today. And all right, y'all. I pray that you learn something. Yes, me too. All right. Take care, everybody. Peace.